Do you guys ever feel like all you do is work and you never get any time off to do the things you actually enjoy? Well, that's how I've been feeling a lot lately, but I think I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to take a couple of days off work and maybe go on a little adventure. Emily is actually away for work this week, so I'm thinking that, you know, I might go on a little overnight camping trip. You know, I'm actually very excited to go camping. I've been waiting to get the big car back, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening anytime soon. So I'm going to be going out in the tent today, just taking a small car. It's so tough when you go camping. I feel like there's so much stuff to bring, especially the way that Emily and I camp, because we definitely do not go light. Don't forget that. But I guess that's all part of the adventure, right? I'm very excited for this trip today. I've got a few plans to go. It's uh, springtime at the moment, and plan to go out into, into the country um, to explore some canola fields. I think it's going to be super exciting. It's not going to be a really big hiking trip for me, but um, I'm going to be going around exploring a couple of things. Hopefully they're still in bloom. We're getting towards the end of the season, but that's why I really wanted to go today. I've got a couple of ideas of where to camp, so hopefully they work, but we shall see. It's all part of the adventure, and I love just being able to get out there on the road. Let's go. Well, I just had to stop and get myself a coffee with all the stress of uh, trying to get everything packed this morning. I forgot to have a coffee and I was starting to feel a bit ugh, drowsy driving on the road. So I got myself a coffee. We went for the cold brew today. It is stinking hot out here today. I've, I, I don't know if I picked like the best day or the worst day to go camping. I don't like camping in the freezing cold, but in the stinking hot, it's not that great either. So we'll see how we go. Well, I am now officially on Wiradjuri country out here. It has taken me a little bit of time to get over the mountains this morning to get prepared. I didn't actually leave home until like 10.30. Um, so now it's just a little bit after lunch now. I'm going to have my lunch and then I think I've got a few ideas of some spots I want to go. Hopefully, I think we're just going to drive and, and kind of see. You don't really know what is going to be out in flowers. I said I'm going to look for some canola fields. Super excited. Um, I think it'll be a nice afternoon. Beautiful day for it. Very hot, as I said, but really nice and clear and I think we're going to get a lot of like light into the evening. I've got probably like an hour and a half between here and where I'm going to camp tonight so I'm just going to be doing a bit of a little bit of driving around and, and trying to go on a few of the back roads just to see if we can find some canola. But for now I'm going to have my lunch. Enjoy the view. I was just having lunch here and I could hear some rumblings in the trees. I thought it might have been like a snake or a lizard or something but have a look what I've just come across here. little echidna. How cool is that? I scared him I think. He's got himself fairly well jammed in there.
Well, I've been driving for like another half an hour since I spoke to you guys last, and I'm just starting to get my first glimpses of the canola fields. I think, sadly, they are starting to all drop off, all, all the flowers. It is starting to get towards the end of September, so, and it's a very, very hot day and has been hot for the past couple of weeks, so I think they, they really think it's um, towards the end of the year a lot more than it is. But I'm gonna have the drone up. I can't really see a lot from the highway or from any of the roads, actually. A lot of the paddocks with canola on them are in the back. I think most of the ones towards the front are fairly green, so they probably flowered last year. Um, so I'm gonna send the drone up, see what we can see. It's getting pretty late in the afternoon, so I don't wanna hang around for too long. Folks, the last hour has been interesting to say the least. I realized that I was actually a long way from where I wanted to camp tonight. Um, so I just had to put the head down and drive for a little bit to get to where we are. Um, at the moment, I'm probably like, it's probably like an hour before sunset and I'm about 15 minutes from camp. So I just wanted to stop a little bit here and take some photos of the canola, but I'm gonna jump back in the car and keep on driving. Well, as beautiful as it is out here, having this whole place to myself, you always have to be very vigilant. I was just walking over near the fence to take some photos of the canola. Huge brown snake just went up the path there.
Well, how is this, folks? I've got the tent set up. I've got this whole place to myself. Well, I do now. There are actually a couple of other people up here when I first arrived just watching the sunset. Beautiful spot to watch the sunset. Can't blame them, but then after that they left. So now, whole place to myself. It's starting to get pretty dark. We've got the tent up, but let's start and try to get the fire going. So conveniently, there was already this fire ring here, so I'm just going to take advantage. I've just got a bit of paper bark. I'm going to use that to start it and really get it scrunched up. Make a nice bit of tinder um, and then just collected some sticks, small sticks from around and I brought some other larger logs from home so hopefully we can get those on top. Haven't got anything extra special to start the fire tonight, just got a normal household lighter. Well, after much trying, I have finally got the, the fire started. I think the, the ground and the branches that I picked up were a little bit damp, so um, it was a bit harder to start, but I think it's all good now. Started to go. There's hardly any breeze around tonight, so nice and still. A little bit hot, actually, to have a fire, but it's really nice. It is well and truly dark now, so I think I'm going to go start preparing something to eat. Um, try to get that going. Actually, before I get a dinner going, why don't we crack open a beer? It's been a very hot day today, and I've been driving for so many hours. I've been looking forward to this one, so here we go. Cheers, guys. For my beer tonight, I've got the Mountain Culture Back to Cali West Coast IPA. This is a great drop. I was up at the brewery the other week and had to pick up a few cans of this one because I tried it on tap, and it was absolutely delicious, so looking forward to this one. Okay, so tonight for dinner, I'm just gonna be having some chicken salad wraps. Fairly easy, got my wraps here, got a breast of chicken here, gonna be frying that up on the fry pan. Um, got some paprika and some garlic salt. I'm um, just gonna be using that as a bit of seasoning. Tomato, onion, avocado, a little bit of spinach, and maybe a lime for a little bit of dressing. And I've also got the perinase as an extra dressing as well. So, should be pretty good. Well, while that chicken's cooking, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for coming along with me today. This has been, you know, a little bit of a different trip for me. I've never recorded myself going camping before, but it's actually been really good fun. Um, it's been great to be able to document this sort of process. It has slowed everything down, but I feel like it's totally worth it, and I'm so enjoying being out here tonight. Also, I'm just looking around, and the stars are incredible. You guys probably can't see them at the moment, but the moon tonight is only like 8%, a little bit less than that. So. It's a very clear night, stars are very much out. I'm hoping to be able to take some photos of the stars later as it gets even darker. I'm very excited for that.
Well, this here, folks, looks absolutely incredible, and I am ravished, very starving. It's about 8 o'clock at night now. I'm going to go have a sit down, sit by the fire, eat this, enjoy my beer, and just watch the stars as they pass overhead. Such a beautiful night, but that is probably where I'm going to leave you guys tonight. Might uh, try to get that time lapse done a little bit later and get some photos of the stars, but otherwise I'm going to eat this and probably head off to bed, and I'll probably see you guys in the morning. folks I uh, slept pretty well last night except uh, the wind really started to pick up um, early hours of the morning started to howl through but apart from that it was actually pretty good I wouldn't have said I was cold or I was very toasty in the tent here but I woke up nice and early this morning for sunrise um, beautiful over the hills here like, such a nice spot to watch the sunrise just beautifully out here over the over the mountains there in the background it's amazing but I'm going to get up now and get them, go make some coffee. Very excited for that. And then probably um, try to get the drone up a little bit more as well. Try to really get some nice shots of the canola fields. There's heaps out this way. And I know there's some over the back there as well. Folks, this smells absolutely incredible. So if it tastes anywhere near as good as it smells, I'll be in heaven. Yeah, it's good. Really weird, but good. I love that. Well, I'm just gonna kick back for a second, enjoy this coffee, continue to watch the sunrise over the valley here. And I might actually send the drone up one last time just to get a few more, a few more photos of these canola fields around here because it is so beautiful especially in this light, but I'm going to enjoy this for now, and I'll talk to you guys soon.
might get breakfast on the go and then I'll get the tent packed up. So easy for breakfast this morning. I'm having some more wraps because I had some more left over, so I thought I might as well use them. Just with a few eggs and bacon and a little bit of spinach as well. These wraps look absolutely delicious. I'm going to devour these in like 2.5 seconds if I can get to them before the flies do. There's so many flies around here. But I'm going to eat these and then I'm going to pack up the tent and probably hit the road. Well, I've got my teeth brushed, got camp all packed up, and I am ready to hit the road. I must say though, that was quite hard to pack up that tent. As soon as I tried to, the wind just picked up and I thought it was just going to blow over the back fence there. But I eventually did manage to get it wrangled and in the car, so we are ready to rock. I must say, this is such a beautiful campground. Like, being able to wake up this morning and be able to watch the sunrise over the mountains there, over the valley, and even like last night, being able to watch the sunset in the distance there. This has just been so beautiful. And all the canola fields just like scattered in the distance. It's been such a lovely view to be able to spend a night here. I'm actually quite sad to leave, but I do have to get on the road. I've got a bit of a drive to get home, and as I said, I want to stop at some canola fields on the way. So, I'm gonna jump in the car. Let's get moving. thing I've had it really flare up this morning not helping with all the canola around and the breeze this morning has been very windy anyway I've been driving for the last hour and I'm now down on Ngunnawal country um, in pretty much like as far as I'm gonna go on this trip I'm gonna keep going I'm doing a bit of a loop I've done like over 500 kilometers so far and I've still got like another 350 to get back home it's beautiful about here so beautiful I feel like once you come off like the main highways I'm on like a back road here at the moment there's heaps of canola around and I think this is probably going to be like my last stop I'm probably going to head back up to the main road and head on the highway back home after this but I just wanted to stop here because this is so beautiful in the back anyway guys I hope that you have really enjoyed being able to come along with me on this trip I've really enjoyed being able to be able to document um, this little bit of a journey it's been great to be able to get out of the house as I said at the start of the video like I really want to make sure that I'm actually doing things for me and I think this is super important and one of those things that I really want to be doing and prioritizing for myself because I just know how important it is to be able to spend time out here by yourself and be able to, you know, just be off the grid a little bit, be away from work, away from the office and I think that is so important. 
If you guys have enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you could give the video a like down below. And also leave me a, a comment down below to let me know that you have been watching because that really helps as well. And I'm always intrigued by what you guys think of the video and to know who has been watching them as well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to do a few more videos of the canola fields, then jump back in the car and scoot on home. But I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.